What's going on, cats and dogs? It's your boy Strayaway Dave. Welcome back to the channel. Mwah. Just a little forehead kiss for you guys out there. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I missed you. I missed you. Where have you been? Where have I been? I've been here in the south in the middle of summer and it is hot. Anyways, today's video is very special. I've been looking forward to making it for about a week now. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. It's a treat for you and me. May I present to you all the very first American motorcycle ever ridden on the Strayaway Dave channel. Voila! America, fuck yeah. So this motorcycle right here is a Victory Vegas Low. So this bike is running a 1,634cc V-twin or a 100 cubic inch V-twin for all of my American boys out there. Let me get a hell yeah, brother. It's got a six speed. It's uh, air oil cooled. You can check in there and there's no radiator, but you do have a fancy little oil cooler in there, which is more than the Yamaha Bolt has, surprisingly. You also got a pretty big tank, I guess, for uh, you know all your gas purposes. It's got a wet clutch. It's fuel injected. Um, it's a motorcycle. You know what I mean? I know that Victory is no longer a active motorcycle brand, so having this right here in front of me does feel kind of like a kind of like a special thing, you know. Also, I'm kind of happy and a little proud of myself that the first American-made motorcycle truly featured on my channel is one that isn't a Harley Davidson or an Indian. That's not knocking Harley or Indian whatsoever. It's just the hot topic of debate is always Harley Davidson or Indian, but no one ever talks about Victory because Victory died. We're not here to get into that. We're here to ride this motorcycle and have a good time with it. I also want to take this time to say shout out to Sean Moto Guy, his uh, channel name right here, and also a link to his channel in the description below. This is his motorcycle right here. He let me borrow it for the day to make this video. One last thing before we actually get on this bike and ride is to go ahead and let you guys hear that sweet, sweet Freedom V Twin sing, baby. Turn on the key. Ignition in three, two, one. Enough of that playing around in the heat. It is too hot to be standing around just talking about a motorcycle. See, look at that. Sweat from my glasses on the seat. It is time to get to riding motorcycles. So guys, I want to focus on three main points in this video about this motorcycle since it is technically a review. I want to do practicality, performance, and handling. For the practicality section, I just want to try to ride around town and get like a, uh, a good idea of how it feels to ride this bike in like a commuter setting, like stop and go traffic, red light, green light kind of things. And, uh, you know, see how she does there. For the performance part, it's basically, let's just take it out on the highway, see how it feels on the highway and fucking let her stretch her legs. See what this big ass V-twin can do. And then of course, for the handling section, which is by far probably gonna be my favorite or second favorite part of this video, is we're gonna take this bike down Highway 25, the curviest road near where I live, and we're gonna see how she does in a back and forth, right and left, up and down, hairpin, right pin. We're gonna see how she does in the corners, in the twisties, because keep in mind, she is a big, long, and low cruiser. Cruisers aren't really made to go left, light, left, 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 left. They're meant to go straight and haul ass. So let's see how this bike does and all those little forms. And while along the way, let's just enjoy the ride. Let's see if there, we can pick apart this bike, see things we like about it, see things we don't like about it, and just dive deep into it. Maybe this is a bike that you're interested in. Me personally, I like it. That's not really surprising though, because I like majority of motorcycles that I ride. I just enjoy riding motorcycles. That's just a fact of life for me being Dave, you know what I'm saying? So real quick, while I'm thinking about it, and this is one thing that I have to bring up about this bike in particular, is the way, the seating position, the, uh, the ergonomics of this bike. So what dad did, he kind of set this bike up more for himself than anything. So he's got, I think they're three inch, two inch risers with about an inch pullback right here. They look really nice. And I don't know if this bar, this handlebars are stock or not, but the bike in the handlebar section right here is kind of more set up for him. 
to me, I feel like I'm having to lean over a little bit. Um, now, that's not really that big of an issue because if you've ever ridden a sport bike before, it's kind of the same principle where you use your core, like your ab muscles to kind of hold you, like to support yourself instead of using your arms and your shoulders to put bear all that weight on. But I do find myself forgetting to hold my body that way because I'm not used to sitting like this anymore. And I, my lower back tends to hurt a little bit, but all it takes is just a little readjustment in the seat and it's all good to go. So far, there's not as much traffic as I was kind of anticipating, but pulling out and stopping on this thing, the brakes, pretty good. Um, the clutch and everything is very, like the clutch is very bitey. Stop and go traffic, this thing isn't bad. And I'm not getting a whole lot of heat down in my legs either. I think that has a lot to do with that oil cooler right there up in the front of the engine too, is helping keep everything at a nice, decent temperature. And that's, that's something to like. That's, some, that's something to be said about an air-cooled V-twin because these things run very hot, but this one's not. And I, I, uh, I have to give it props for that. Personally, and this is, you know, like I said, my opinion, um, I think this bike is perfect for a practical sense. Like even if you're just commuting a few miles a day or if you're just riding back and forth, uh, you know, to work or school or whatever, I, I wouldn't say this is a bad bike to do it with. I mean, any motorcycle is gonna be good for it. This one's comfortable. It's, it handles fairly well, you know, like in a, you know, a town commuting setting and yeah, I, I think it looks cool too. It's a, it's an eye catcher. It's definitely an eye catcher. Let's take this bitch out on the highway and let her stretch her legs and see what this big old 100 cubic inch motor can do. Hell yeah, baby! We're in first gear. Right here. Dead stop. Turn signals on. Let's give her the beans. third. Fourth. Ah, oh, y'all ruined my line, dude. You got the fuck out of the way, man. Keep in mind, we're still in fourth gear running like almost 75. Fifth gear. Still pulling, oh my god! That's sixth gear, oh my, and we short shifted that, holy shit! Oh my god! I would love to see somebody in a fucking Hellcat try to mess with me now. I got something for y'all, baby. This motorcycle's got the beanies and the weenies. Damn, dude, this thing is a ripper. She is freaking good. So I think it's pretty much safe to say that if you have one of these or if you're looking for one of these for like highway commuting and just regular big open road type stuff, this motorcycle will probably gets you to work in half the time, dude. It has not struggled at all. We haven't even hit the rev limiter on anything. This is a hot rod. This thing is genuinely a hot American muscle in a motorcycle. Just being able to be in the tallest gear, in sixth gear, and just roll it and climb 20 mile an hour, and you know, granted not super quick, but still just climb it, no struggle whatsoever. It's still very impressive. And this is a cruiser motorcycle. This thing is fast. Alrighty, folks. I think it is safe to say that the Victory Vegas Low has definitely passed the uh, performance or the the highway portion of this video. Cause my God, let's get on Highway 25 and see if we can scrape a little bit of peg. You know what I mean? Let's see what uh, let's see what she can do on the side of the tire. We already know that she's pretty good around town. She's good in a straight line. Actually, hell, she's better than good. She's great in a straight line, baby. Let's see what she can do when she's leaning side to side, front and back. Ooh, hmm, calm down, baby. You gonna make me act up. 
tell y'all what, let's go ahead and pull over right here, give these cars some time to get way ahead of us so we can actually have fun on these turns. Maybe we get some B-roll shots and put some badass music behind it and uh, make this bike look prettier than she already is. <laughs> That's given enough time to uh, go ahead and let all the cars get out of my way. Our way, I should say. Shout out to all my people watching who own a Victory motorcycle and named it Victor or Victoria. It's about the most original name I could come up with for this thing. So let's go ahead and see how old Icky Vicky feels on the side of the tire. Pretty good so far. Let's see how we roll. Not too bad. fairly surprised with the handling on this thing so far it's the power delivery the braking and the torque coming out of a turn mixed with the fact that it doesn't seem to really mind being on the sidewall I don't I still don't get oh there was the peg still don't get why these don't don't get made anymore man it sucks all right this is my little favorite little bit boo right here I got a good question for those of you at home watching who have motorcycles. Do you name your motorcycles? And if you do, do you name them boys' names or girls' names? Or does it matter to you? Like, is your motorcycle a bad boy or is it a naughty girl? Or is it a naughty girl and a bad boy? <laughs> Drop a comment down below. Okay, so I'll go ahead and say it. I think it passed the twisty road part of this video as well. Uh, I've only drug peg a few times, but at the really drag and peg on a cruiser isn't anything like to be impressed about or scared of because these bikes really don't have a whole lot of lean angle. I'll figure out how many degrees of lean angle this thing has and I'll put it in the bottom of the screen, but it feels like it has more than the bolt. Um, but with forward controls, dragging peg always feels a little bit more comfortable, at least for me. All in all, the Victory Vegas Victory as a whole brand, I think, is underrated. Those of you who have the bikes and have rode them, drop a comment down below telling me if you agree or not. Is Victory a brand that you wish was still around? Or do you think that it dying made it even better? Because I'm thinking, at least from my point of view, I didn't really care that much about Victory motorcycles because I never really rode one. Well, now that they're brand is dead and gone and I'm on this bike in hindsight I wish they were back but maybe it's better that they're not here anymore to make me appreciate what is left maybe they would have gone way downhill if they stayed around you know maybe they would have just kept doing what Harley and Indian are doing and just like let's just keep making v-twin baggers and v-twin motorcycles and putting chrome on this one and then blacking out this one and charging an extra 500 to a thousand dollars for it who knows man well, all of that said, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I really enjoyed making it, and this has been a load of fun. This bike has 
blown through my expectations and hell I still get to ride it around before I bring it back home to dad and I'm going to enjoy every fucking mile of this ride dude Ugh, that bump sucked and as always folks never forget no matter what you're riding where you're riding to or who you're riding with it is okay to be astray I'll catch y'all in the next one peace out